Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for everyone who's been subscribing recently. We're almost at 3,000 subs, so I appreciate all of you. In today's video, I'm just gonna share my highest conviction play over the next month, and it's gonna be around Tesla stock. As most of you know, I follow Tesla stock daily, so I have a better feel for how the stock moves. And because of this, I can profit with higher conviction plays after seeing the chart every single day for such a long period of time. Before we dive into the play, make sure you subscribe if you're not yet already. If you're looking to build your wealth through options trading or day trading or investing, you're gonna to wanna to subscribe. The purpose of my channel is to share all the trades I make and see the lessons I learn, as well as help you build your stock market portfolio so you can achieve financial freedom. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and let's dive right into the play. We're looking at Tesla stock on the weekly chart using the Heikinashi candles. What you'll see is Tesla is actually a highly momentum based stock. When Tesla runs, it really continues to run for weeks. And what you're starting to see is a new run with a consistent momentum here building up. The only thing for caution is that we see a rising wedge pattern. A rising wedge pattern typically is more of a bearish pattern on decreasing volume. Volume is decreasing, but it's starting to pick up as the wedge is forming. We're having earnings come October 20th. The only bearish sign is the potential rising wedge pattern where we could see a break to the downside. If you take a look at the rising wedge pattern, you can search it up here. You'll see declining volume. We're seeing higher highs as well as higher lows but the range is decreasing. It's squeezing and then it breaks to the downside. We're seeing that on Tesla stock. However, the trade I'm gonna talk about is actually a bullish position. And now you're thinking, well, why is that? Because there are so many things going for the bullish argument and against the bearish argument. If you take a look at Tesla stocks past on the weekly of the daily chart, anytime the stochastic rises above 80, with a rising RSI, this stock continues to run. If the stochastic hits 80 when the RSI is actually going down, then you can see the sell-off and it's short-lived. But the, the stochastic sustains and stays high if the RSI is continuing to move higher. And that's what you're gonna see if we zoom out over here at the end of 2020, hits 80, RSI is increasing, it continues to increase and it flatlines on the stochastic. And this lasts two whole months while the stock goes up 100%. Before that, you'll see as well, over here in, at the end of May, stochastic hits 80, RSI hits about 68. It continues to go higher as the stochastic comes up and starts to decrease, but the RSI is still increasing, and that's where you see the continuation of the move higher. So you're seeing the same thing play out on the weekly chart where the stochastic is flatlining, but the RSI is continuing to increase. Thus, supporting the fact that the momentum is still there and it can continue to push to mid 800s upwards towards 900 in the next one to two months. We see the double bottom W formation, which is a bullish pattern. So you see the top sell off hitting a low of about 550, bounce, sell off again, double bottom bouncing around that same low of 550. And then we're seeing the continuation to the upside. And that signals a W pattern formation where there's a high probability of us pushing through going back to all time highs. If you search up double bottom definition, you see what I said, looks like the letter W. It's best suited for intermediate to longer term, which is what we're looking at three to six months. Generally speaking, the longer the duration between the two lows in the pattern, the greater the probability that the chart pattern will be successful. At least a three month duration is considered appropriate for the lows of the double bottom pattern in order for the pattern to yield a greater probability of success. That's why it's best to do the daily or the weekly chart. And that's what you see. You see a low March 1st, next low end of May, three months in between continuation to the upside. We also have the Q3 expectations blown out of the water where analysts were expecting 220,000 deliveries and we got 241,000. So a 10% upside in beat. We're starting to see analysts adjust expectations. Not all have, some have. We're going into Q3 earnings is October 20th. We are 10 days away. And what I believe is we're gonna see an earnings beat. Then we're gonna see continuation of analysts revising their price targets, pushing the stock higher, giving that fuel to break 800 and, and continue on to mid 800s. In my eyes, that's what I'm most confident about, potentially pushing towards the 900 in the next one to two months. But in my eyes, the higher probability is definitely seeing that, that 850 level. Joseph Spack is one of those who revised his estimate EPS from $1.68 to $1.95 compared to the consensus of $1.47. And he now expects Tesla to deliver 262,000 in the fourth quarter, raising full year deliveries to 890,000. Average analyst expectations here, $1.49. Gary Black on Twitter is sitting at about $1.65, $1.67. I think there's a high probability that we see a beat of $1.49 reaching towards anywhere from $1.60 to $1.90. And I think that would be enough to cause the more bearish analysts raise expectations. 
the bullish ones to revise future price targets and continue to see the momentum going. Because like I said, Tesla is that momentum stock. If we take a look at the daily here, it's inching its way up. Like I said, there is that wedge. There's the risk of the press to the downside, but there is protection because there is this long trend that is going up all the way dating back to the lows of the pandemic, March 18th, 2020. Tesla stock has not hit this trend line ever since that day. The low would actually suggest that by the end of October, we would be sitting at about 740 per share if Tesla stock continues to respect this trend line. Based on all this information, the trade I'm looking at is the 785 at the money call option with a December 17th expiration. And you you might be wondering why I'm choosing at the money and why am I choosing so far away? I'm choosing at the money because if you choose out of the money, if the stock doesn't move aggressively in your favor, each day that passes, you lose a lot of the value. I like to trade options on the safer side if I am gonna trade them and I like to choose at the money it holds more of the value as the time goes on. I'm also looking at the longer dated expiration because time decay is most rapid and exponential in 30 days and less. If you wanna hold on to the, the theta value of the option, you'll wanna choose a option that is expiring anywhere from 45 to 90 days or more. That's why we chose December 17th. It's gonna cost us 6,341 US dollars to purchase one contract. So if we were to purchase one contract, let's say we purchase this on the market open October 11th, and in 10 days, the day after earnings, the stock is trading at about 850. Well, we'd be in a profit of 3.5K, which is over a 50% rate of return, holding this for 10 days. Now let's think about another scenario where the stock actually sells off the day after earnings because it could be a sell the news, but then in the coming week, the analysts actually see the beat to the upside, revise their price targets, and start buying into the stock after the swing traders and the day traders sell out and take their profit because the news came out that they had the beat. A lot of analysts actually like to do that. If you, if you notice, I've noticed with Tesla stock over time that it can sell off after positive news, and then in the next one to two weeks, run up to new highs higher than it was before the news. And this is actually a common occurrence. And this is what I've actually noticed by following Tesla stock every single day over the last two and a half years. If that scenario were to play out, and then let's say Tesla's trading about 860 November 1st, because let's say it sold off, but then got bought up in the coming 10 days, after the analyst revised expectations. Stocks trading at 860 on November 1st. Well, we'd still be sitting at over 50% rate of return on this call contract. And that's where I would be typically looking to take profit. Around the mid 800 level is where I have the most confidence of, of the stock actually potentially reaching based on all of the tailwinds and all the things I just stated. Obviously, none of this is financial advice. I personally actually took a trade September 30th. I bought a at the money 775 call contract expiring November 5th because I am believing that we're gonna see that over 800 push sometime after earnings. And I, I, that's and that's where I would be looking to close out that call contract position. These are all my reasons for why I have high conviction in Tesla reaching about 850 a share in the next two to eight weeks. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Subscribe for more videos just like this one. If you're looking to achieve financial freedom through options trading, day trading, and stock market investing, you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.